What's good? I'm Hodge and we're here in Southwest Detroit. We're gonna to talk to George Uzar, who's a world-renowned chef and owner of Flowers of Vietnam. Let's go. Part of the reason how this started was that like, I got tired of driving to Madison Heights for, for Vietnamese food, right? Everywhere I've lived, I've had it at my fingertips, short walk or short drive. So we go to like a couple markets in Madison Heights and a source all our stuff. Like a lot of the stuff I can't like reach out to local farmers for. Going shopping, even though it takes up so much of my time, it still allows me to have a relationship with the, with the food I'm serving. I just get bored of eating the same shit all the time. I wanted to cook Vietnamese food because there wasn't any around. On one Sunday, snowy Sunday in January, I just started cooking. What was like the first pair of sneakers that really like set it off for you? Red 11s are, the, are really like my favorite. Those are like uh, not only nostalgic, mm -hmm. but also just my favorite. And that was the first pair that you bought and like no. had a, no. no. What was the? Grand Hills. Grand Fila, Hills. Fila. Yeah. Ooh. For your time, George. No, I got those. How? I had the Grand Hill 2s oh back at God. home. How? Hey, you don't know about me, I man. I guess not. Okay. <laughs> Grand, the Grand Hills were like mm -hmm. the shoe. For the uh, 11s, mm -hmm. Red 11 was Grand Hill. Grand Hill. Yeah. Grand Hill. Yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. You're getting robbed for those. Yeah, yeah. Jacket. How do you decide like what shoe to wear for like when you're coming here to work uh, in well, the kitchen? Versatility first. Also durability. Who does a great job at that is Carhartt. They make versatile products so you can go to work in and still mm -hmm. get off work and be okay with sitting down with like, your significant other at dinner. Right. And maybe not changing like your shoes or your shirt or whatever when right. it's clean. I've, I've always digged that. This place was a Coney Island, mm -hmm. and it's like one of the last standing retro like Coney Islands from back in the day. I used to come eat here as a kid. It used to be called the Cop Shop. Why was know? it called the Cop Shop? Because it would be like <laughs> literally law enforcement from a city level to ah. federal, like DEA, FBI, Border Patrol, and then like Detroit Police, State Police. That, and then also kids skipping school. That literally, I found my cousin's <laughs> ID, school ID from the 70s, behind the equipment when I was like, when I was, I swear to God, when I was like gutting it out to like the remodel, I was able to like finesse my way in here and like then buy the building. And it looked like it should have been condemned. Like I maxed on my credit cards. Someone that I know uh, that, <laughs> that kind of like finessed them dead stock plates and pots and stuff. <laughs> And then uh, we just started cooking one day. We made something out of dust particles, let's just say that. Then like GQ magazine gave us best restaurant in the country for 17. So many great things can happen from opening a restaurant. First of all, food and beverage changes neighborhoods. Come to find out sometimes in a bad way because that's how gentrification starts. Mm -hmm. It's through food and beverage and then art and then now real estate people are, because you know, they're not cool, right. right? The cool people come first, right. then the money comes. People opening restaurants in attractive areas in the city mm -hmm. doesn't help us push forward our food scene here. So I'd like to see uh, accessible mm -hmm. restaurants that are, me personally, ethnically driven. One right. thing that I could say, I try to make sure that the people in my immediate surroundings can afford to eat here. So I'll make sure that like, there'll be menu items that people can walk out of here with a $13 tab if they need to. And that's like really important to me. We're gonna make shaky beef. What what it means in, Viet, in Vietnamese, the translation literally means shaky beef. You have to go get a walk, you, you have to hard sear mm -hmm. like the protein and then you have to like shake the walk to like, loosen it up uh, so flip mm -hmm. it over to sear the other side. There's a ribeye fillet part and then there's a cap okay. around it so I take the cap off and I, I cut it in smaller pieces mm -hmm. and I marinate it. Like We have like a house protein marinade. We marinate it overnight and we just sear it in the walk and we use like all the, we call it fond mm -hmm. um, and then we use that to like build a sauce in, in the walk and then we finish it with a little bit of butter. And then gotcha. it's served like with this moita chan. It's like kumquat, limes, mm -hmm. pepper, mm -hmm. salt, and Thai chili that yeah. you like kind of mix up. Oh, hell yeah. Be corny right oh now. man. Perfect, oh my God. So we're going to squeeze the citrus. Okay. Make a little paste. Okay. Dip. Enjoy. All right, awesome. Dip it. Man, I'm Hodge. This is FOB, Flowers of Vietnam. Thank you so much, George. Come down to Flowers of Vietnam when you're in Southwest Detroit.